In this video, we are going to investigate the science and math that go into making chocolate chip cookies. Start by carefully measuring all of your ingredients so it looks like this. We have two and one third cups of flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of butter, three fourths cup of white sugar, three fourths cup of brown sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one tablespoon and one teaspoon of coffee. Now add both the white and the brown sugar to the butter and beat until fluffy. Why? Because butter helps keep the cookies nice and soft. Butter contains a high amount of fat which prevents the gluten in flour from activating and making the cookie tougher. We beat the butter until fluffy in order to add air to the mixture which helps the cookie be soft and also helps it rise in the oven. We mix the sugar in with wet ingredients because even though sugar is dry, it will melt or caramelize when the cookies are baked. Now add the vanilla and the coffee. Both of these ingredients are flavoring elements. The vanilla helps give the cookies a rich creamy flavor and the coffee enhances the flavor of the chocolate that we will add later. Now let's add the eggs to the beaten butter and sugars. Eggs provide water, protein, and fat to our mixture. The egg whites trap and retain bubbles of air and water which helps the cookies rise. The egg yolks form a tender protein semi-solid bunch when cooked, which helps keep our cookies tender and fudgy. Now let's mix the dry ingredients. Into the flour, add the baking soda and the salt and mix well. Baking soda is pure sodium bicarbonate, which chemically speaking is a base. When the baking soda gets dissolved by liquid and is combined with an acid, it quickly breaks down into sodium, water, and carbon dioxide and helps the cookies to rise. Salt is important because it helps to balance the flavor of the caramelized sugars, the vanilla, and the chocolate. Now that the dry ingredients are mixed, we need to sift the mixture into the wet ingredients and slowly stir. Sifting the dry ingredients helps add more air to the mixture and keeps the cookies light and delicate. Now it is time to add the chocolate chips. Because of their geometry, using chocolate chips produces the most regular cookies and gives the cookies even pockets of chocolate. Once the chocolate chips seem to be evenly spread throughout the dough, put your cookie dough into the refrigerator. Let your cookie dough rest for one or two hours. During the resting process, both flour and egg proteins and starches start to break down a bit and this makes the cookies taste richer. Turn your oven on and preheat it to 325 degrees 
Fahrenheit. Get the cookie dough out of the refrigerator and scoop small balls of dough. Place them evenly around the cookie sheet. Place the cookie sheet into the heated oven and set a timer for 14 minutes. What is happening to your cookies in the oven? It turns out a lot is happening. The dough spreads, the edges set, the cookie rises, egg proteins and starches set, sugar caramelizes, and the Maillard reaction happens. It is time to remove the cookies from the oven. Give them time to cool down before eating.